Hello, welcome. This is Blockchain Bloom, the Blockchain Educator. I'm Atala Pink, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about that Bitcoin. It was just crazy today. We were so far 3% away from 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin when I'm recording this video. Probably if you watch it, I don't know, days later or a couple of days later, maybe we break it already. But right now, we were just that close to it. So it's worth to talk about it. Also, let's talk about how the whole November looks like, uh, you know, after uh, October and the great September we had. Then when we're looking at apps in App Store, for example, when you look at the utilities, then you see Phantom's wallet app. It's right now number one in front of Google and Google Chrome and so on and so forth. Then uh, let's look at MicroStrategy, which actually, because of Bitcoin, surpassed the $100 billion company. Why is this crazy? Because it used to be a $1 billion company when they started to accumulate Bitcoin. So we're going to talk about that as well. NVIDIA, the AI sector is still doing very well. The, you know, the reports for the third quarter came out and it's better than expected. And meme coins, you know, uh, Coinbase listing another meme coin, this time Flocky. And, you know, meme coins, actually, the market cap of meme coin doubled since the election. So that could be also crazy. Guys, all this in today's video. And don't forget, every single day, I bring you the first cryptocurrency and blockchain news here on Blockchain Bloom to keep you up to date. So if that's important, very simple, just subscribe to this YouTube channel and also hit the like button if you like this kind of content. And now, let's do it. Oh, I couldn't push the bottom okay what a crazy day we have here we go bitcoin price you know up four percent today at the moment 69 60 what's that sorry 60 oh. <laughs> 96 000. we were so many months in this 60 range <laughs> crazy now we're talking about 96 880 us dollar four percent up ethereum uh, 3135 us dollar kind of same like yesterday uh top gainer bitcoin cash 20% up in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin SV, uh, it's always like this, 10% up. The Bitcoin copies uh, try to catch up, but in the long term, they losing um, against Bitcoin. E-cash, e e come on, 10% <laughs> up. Right, who is losing? Peanut, Peanut is losing 15% in the last 24 hours. Brad, 12% down. Uh, Goat, 11% down. So memes are a little bit losing, uh, as we can see. Okay, let's look at the Bitcoin price. Here we go, guys. Actually, we were less than 3% away from 100,000 US dollar today. Uh, you know, it was crazy when I woke up and I watched it, it was like, what the heck is going on? We are just so close. And you know, who knows what is coming because actually we kind of early. Uh, in the bull market, the rest should really uh, develop in 2025. Because of this, obviously, Bitcoin dominance uh, became uh, bigger and bigger. We have reached uh, 61.5%. Uh, percent. Therefore, when we're looking at olds, yeah, they kind of same like in the uh, last couple of days, when we're looking at uh, the old uh, market cap, uh, not including Ethereum, and Bitcoin, the small ones, the small ones are kind of losing. So what we have right now, it's definitely everybody's focusing on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the one which is gaining. Usually after Bitcoin finds, you know, its levels and not dominating the growth, then the olds uh, outperform for a while Bitcoin and then things go back to Bitcoin. So this is how it uh, usually goes. Uh, now we're watching, but, you know, that's crazy. Look at this here. we talking about... Um, 16 days, 16 days since the election and the Bitcoin went up 46%. Just think about it. Many of the olds couldn't do it recently and the biggest one, Bitcoin, has done it. Therefore, I'm always saying it's very, very important uh, to hold Bitcoin in the portfolio because in long term, this is the only one which came back every single bull market. You know, olds... You know, there are some new ones. They were here just starting the last bull market, starting in this bull market. Who knows what's going to happen to them? But uh, Bitcoin is the one which outperforms them. Many uh, people who just would buy uh, simply uh, Bitcoin when it was around this 20,000 range. So not even the bottom where it was like 15,400-ish, but around 20,000, 20 20-something. 20 um, you know, they have like, uh, you know, more than four times, 4x, they diversified in very small olds, all these kind of things, and then probably the portfolio would do even better 
just with Bitcoin. In many cases, not every case, but in many cases. But I do believe that uh, altcoin season, uh, it's uh, going to come. It was every single time so far. Uh, nothing is for granted, so nothing is for sure. Uh, but uh, in my case, I'm happy that I'm holding uh, Bitcoin. Uh, right. And, uh, okay, um, well, actually, this is already the to uh, first topic I'm in it. So, <clears throat> look at how uh, Bitcoin is doing. In September, it was a bit more than 7%. In October, it was a bit more than 10 Now, so far, in November, we are 38%. Look, in 2020, we had actually a 42% month. So, even the people saying that Bitcoins cannot go up that much anymore, look at these numbers, you know, we, we, we debating with, uh, with these, uh, you know, past month. Uh, in previous years in November, uh, getting very, very close to it. So we still can have a very nice last quarter every single time when it was September green, every single time we had four months in a row, uh, you know, uh, very nice ones. And then, you know, we're going to see how it's going to continue next year. But uh, we probably have several months uh, in this uh, bull market in 2025. I wouldn't bet directly <laughs> directly on till the end or something like that. I would be careful. Uh, let's see how it plays out. You know, you can stay uh, change your strategy on as, as you go, basically. But uh, the first first half of two thousand twenty five uh, could be could look uh, you know very promising, and, and actually not just for Bitcoin, but for several altcoins. Um, right. Another thing uh, which I would like to highlight, and now let's move on to the second topic, it's uh, apps in the App Store, uh, which are related to crypto, you know, uh, topping the game. So, first of all, uh, here we have a Phantom app. Now this one is coming up. Look, when this article was written a couple of hours ago, then uh, it was second in the App Store. By the way, by now, when you look at the utilities category, we are number one. I mean, Phantom is number one. It's a crypto wallet, you know, based, I mean, mainly doing Solana. So that was the, the main idea. But now you can do a lot of things. You can have Ethereum and some other change on, on change, uh, chains, sorry, on Phantom. You know, it's leading in front of Google, Google Chrome, Google Authenticator, all these kind of apps. So I think this this is a sign. And also, when you're looking at the categories, just like put it now, finance category, we have the number one app. It's Coinbase, right? So again, Coinbase app. Then we have here Coinbase Wallet. You have all these kind of among finance apps. So it shows clearly that people are really interested in crypto, and uh, you know uh, they're coming back to crypto. Even retail is coming back, so it's on their way. If Bitcoin really breaks 100,000 and then it's getting higher and higher. Uh, the FOMO will come back as it usually does. So I think it's, 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 it's worse to watch. Okay, right. And the next one is, um, you know, let's talk about micro strategy. Micro strategy's strategy was starting to buy Bitcoin in August 2020. And it turned out it was a great idea. Why? i show you. So MicroStrategy as a company became massive. Why? Because when they started back in 2020 in summer accumulating Bitcoin, they were just slightly above a $1 billion company. Now they actually surpassed $100 billion US dollar, the 93rd largest public traded company in the US. After the time of writing, uh, you know, here, and they're writing it. So yesterday, uh, Microsoft Strategy has done more trading volume, both stock giants, like both stock giants, Tesla and NVIDIA today. So that was actually basically yesterday. So yeah, it's mind blowing that basically they went from a 1 billion company to a $100 billion company in four and a half years time, purely because of their Bitcoin strategy. And uh, this is what many other companies now keep an eye on. And this is what we should really understand, that uh, the FOMO is not just coming from, from the retail side when it comes from BIMIT, now mainly coming from, from the institutional side. Because guess what? Many companies saying, okay, let's get some Bitcoin, get some Bitcoin. But, you know, on exchanges, you have a bit less than 3 million Bitcoin available, 2 million something. And, um, you know, uh, it's limited. 
and uh, it's not an endless thing like you can do it with 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 shares you can do it fiat printing and so on and so forth so this can definitely can boost uh bitcoin price yes there are always, there is always a bubble it's coming going up then it's going down but so far for um, yeah almost 16 years but like put it like 15 years bitcoin is every single time coming back coming back and now it's actually a, a, a perfect storm starting here uh to be honest with you and how is micro strategy doing it basically just buying every single time doesn't matter the price is up price is down now they bought it here above ninety thousand US dollar another dca they don't care they just buy it and this is what uh, it happened to them uh right and talking about a little bit about nvidia ai because that's still a hot topic I personally think that AI is still uh, hot and actually it can re uh, it come back uh, later uh, to crypto as well because look Nvidia is nearly doubles revenue on a strong AI demand so uh, Nvidia reported uh, third quarter earnings that beat expectations for sale and earnings while delivering a better than expected focus for the current quarter so for Q4 and revenue continues to surge, NVIDIA rising 94% on an annual basis during the uh, quarter that ended on the October 27th. So, right, it's, it's, it's crazy. Uh, NVIDIA going up here, uh, AI, it's a massive focus on AI, and therefore I believe this AI hype kind of thing at some point uh, after we had this Bitcoin things and all these things, when old coins are starting uh, again, Mm, it will a bit come back of course memes are very hot right now and talking about memes uh, to be honest with you as well um coinbase listing here another one so even coinbase is now started to focus on 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 memes not long ago they listed you know uh, pepe and now they have flocky so the market cap for memes has doubled since Donald Trump's November 5th win. And, uh, you know, Flocky is up 600% this year. And uh, we can see that, you know, the memes are doing um, crazy. We have to take actually the meme category serious in this bull market. It wasn't like it, it, it was in previous bull markets at the beginning of the bull market. Nothing happened to memes, just really at the end of it. Now, in the middle of the bull, bar, uh, bull market, actually, memes are going crazy. And uh, I believe they will come back. Now, Bitcoin is going up, and then what's happening? Then uh, olds going to move, and among the olds, I think memes going to do uh, pretty well. But do your own research. Uh, don't listen to anybody. Uh, what I'm doing here is an educational video. I don't want to, you know, um, tell you what to do. It's not the point of it. I'm just telling the facts what's happening on the market. Then you do your own research and make up your own mind. Take the responsibility for your decisions. It's very, very important in crypto. And this is what I usually emphasize. But uh, these are the facts what right now are happening. So guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, every single day, I bring you the freshest cryptocurrency and blockchain you see on Blockchain Bloom to keep you up to date. So if you would like to stay up to date, very simple, just subscribe to this YouTube channel. You know, and also hit the like button if you like this kind of content. See you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.